What's up mga persons? Kuya Carl here and for today's video, we'll be answering some UPCAT practice questions, Physics Edition. So Physics is just a portion ng science section and ng UPCAT. And Physics uh, comprises both simple recall ng key concepts and terms uh, related to Physics as well as calculations. So I recommend um, to practice as many problems as you can and uh, memorize and familiarize the key concept terms, formulas na related sa physics. Since UPCAT is a time-pressured exam and kailangan natin mabilis na sasagutan yung mga tanong. For the format ng ating lecture review, first we'll be answering it in UPCAT way, yung mabilis ang pagsagot, followed by a detailed explanation uh, to the theories or concepts uh, related to the question. With that, Without further ado, let's get started. So here, the key terms are velocity, uh, constant acceleration, at saka time. And from that, we know the topic and key concept na kailangan natin pag-aralan ay kinematics, specifically about linear motion. So in this problem, kailangan natin ilis yung given para alam natin kung anong formula yung gagamitin. So here, we have velocity na 20 meters per second, constant acceleration na 2 meters per second squared, and time na 5 seconds. Dito, tinatanong yung distance ng car traveling after 5 seconds. So, x is equals or d is question mark. So, looking at the given, uh, kailangan natin hanapin kung anong equation yung gagamitin. So, looking at the formulas, we have um, velocity, acceleration, at time. So, this equation yung gagamitin. So, d is equals to vot plus 1 half at squared. By simple um, plugging in the values, we have 20 meters per second times time plus acceleration is equals to 5 squared. So, yan, simplifi uh, simplifying 20 times 5, 100 plus 1 half times 2 times 25. We have 125 meters. So, the correct answer is letter C, 125 meters. Yan. So, in this problem, I recommend na to familiarize or memorize yung mga linear motion, to mga formulas na ito, para mabilis natin nasasagutan yung tanong. Uh, personally, ako, uh, I memorized the linear motions or kinematics equation through writing it down ng paulit-ulit. So, I memorize it by heart. Uh, for educated guests naman, we can um, try to draw uh, the problem para mas madali natin maintindihan. So here, uh, 20 meters per second, um, traveling after 5 seconds. So yung car doon, to travel on 20 meters for every second, yung total of 5 seconds. So yan, it is estimated if walang acceleration, uh, yung total distance is 100 meters. Since we know na meron daw acceleration, Letter A is not the correct answer. And it is also given na yung acceleration is 2 meters per second. So, tumataas yung velocity for every second. So, letter B is incorrect. So, we're left with choice C and choice D. To explain in detail, um, I recommend again to memorize a different formula. So, yung velocity is given by the change in displacement or change in distance over time. Um, delving deeper to the kinematics equation, again, I recommend you to memorize the different formulas. So, yung velocity it is given by the formula of change, change in displacement over time. And kapag speed naman, it is just uh, distance over time. Acceleration is change of velocity over time. Um, displacement is the change in um, from one position to the original position. And these are the following kinematic equations na kailangan natin tandaan. Here, the key term is vacuum. And in this problem, yung mga objects daw ay nahulog from a same height. So the topic and the key concept na kailangan natin pag-aralan ay kinematics, specifically about free fall. So the key term is vacuum. So kapag may vacuum and may free fall, alam na natin na these um, objects fall at the same rate. So, D is the correct answer. So, this is just simple recall. So, here, the key terms are vacuum compartment and tinatanong daw uh, which of the objects uh, fall fastest. 
So the topic and the key concept na kailangan natin pag-aralan ay kinematics, specifically about free fall. So here, um, the key term is vacuum and free fall. Since vacuum walang air friction, um, the correct answer is letter D. All falls at the same rate. Now delving deeper to the concept behind uh, free fall, when objects freely fall, they are influenced by gravity. So it accelerates at a constant rate at 9.8 meters per second squared. So lahat ng objects um, accelerate downward towards the Earth at 9.8 meters per second squared. So kapag may air friction, yung kadalasan nangyayari sa atin, um, which is happening in reality, these objects won't fall at the same rate. Para mas ma-visualize natin yung free fall, um, you can watch the video. Ayan. As you can see, yung mas mabigat na object uh, arrive at the floor first than the lighter object. This is because of air friction. So dito, tinatanong yung time that it would take for the stuffed toy to reach the floor. And since may involvement uh, ng pagtapon ng stuffed toy from a ceiling, the topic and the key concept na kailangan natin pag-aralan ay kinematics, specifically about projectile motion. So here, pero ceiling, ang height is 4.9 meters. So may object na tinapon pa baba. So your horizontal velocity is 5.0 meters per second, tinatanong yung time. Now listing the given, given, we have horizontal velocity na 5.0 meters per second, um, vertical velocity na 0 per meters per second, and acceleration is due to gravity since free fall is involved or may nanghulog na object. So, ang gagamitin natin is negative 10 per meters, uh, meters per second squared. Uh, negative 10 kasi bababa. And the height or the distance, y, is negative uh, 4.9 or negative 5 meters. So this is negative as well kasi pababa. As you can see, uh, nila round off ko yung values kasi madali silang mas all. So yan. And time is being asked in the question. Since ganito yung given, um, based sa kinematic equations, ang gagamitin nating formula ay dy is equals to bot plus one half um, gt squared. Since alam natin na yung um, values ng initial velocity in y is zero, this is zero. So dy is equals to one half gt squared. Here zero siya, kasi binato siya from a stationary position and going down pababa. Yan. So, simple plugging in of values and rearrangement ng equation. So, t squared is equals to dy divided by um, 0 0.5 times g. Or 1 half. It was 1 half. Tapos, square root, square root. So, t is equal to square root of dy times 0 0.g. Yan. Lipat lang natin. So, simple plugging in of values. dy is negative 5, 0 0.5, and negative 10. Okay. So, here, yung dy refers to distance in y direction. So, y. It is dy. Ayan. Simple plugging in or solving of the values. Simplify. This is 1, 2, cancel your negative. Tapos 0 0.5 times 2. Ayan. 2. So 0 0.5 times 2, we have square root of 1, which is equal to 1. So 1 second. C is the correct answer. So recap lang. Uh, first, list, lista natin yung mga given, yung mga, and yung tinatanong sa question. And after that, let's uh, identify natin kung yung equations na gagamitin. Here. 
And dito sa projectile motion, kailangan natin tandaan na sa horizontal motion, hindi siya affected by gravity, zero yung acceleration, constant yung velocity, and ito yung distance. And for the vertical motion naman, it's affected by gravity, kaya negative 9.8 meters per second squared yung gagamitin natin acceleration. And changing velocity, so Vy is equal to zero sa pinakamataas na point, and dito, ito yung gagamitin natin equation. Yan. And after that, since we identified the equation, simple plug-in lang ng mga given, and rearrangement ng equation, and substitution, and simplification, we obtain the correct answer which is let me see. Note lang natin, since yung tinatanong is the, uh, the vertical component, yung y, so yung gagamitin lang natin na values for the kinematics equation, so lahat na gagamitin natin is yung nasa y component. So here, hindi natin gagamitin yung velocity or horizontal speed na 5 meters per second. Panggulo lang to sa problem. And yung 4.9, uh, ni-round off lang natin to negative 5 para mas madali natin i-solve. So, ayun. Uh, be careful lang na hindi lahat ng given sa problem ay gagamitin sa equation. So, mas mabuti pa rin na intindihan natin kung ano yung tinatanong at yung concept behind sa question. So, here, this is just an extension ng problem kanina. So, the topic and the key concept remain the same, kinematics and projectile motion. So, note lang natin kung yung given kanina. And dito, tinatanong is how far from the base of the ceiling does the stuff toy hit the ground? Again, draw lang natin yung problem. So, dito, tinatanong yung distance x. Um, from the previous problem, nakuha natin na yung time it takes for the ball to hit the ground is 1 second. So, 1 second. And VOX... I V is 5 meters per second. Since constant lang yung velocity, horizontally at a speed of 5 meters per second, the acceleration is a 0 per, oh, meters per second squared. So, tinatanong is yung distance x. So, with the given values, um, from the equation, Alam natin yung gagamitin natin na equation ay ito. Now, by simple plugging in, so we have dx is equal to vot plus 1 half a t squared. So, 5 meters per second, time is 1 second, plus um, 0. Since, this, uh, since acceleration, so horizontal direction is 0. So, 5 times 1, answer is 5 meters. So, the distance na hinahanap natin is 5 meters. So, B is the correct answer. So, in this problem, as you can see, ginamit natin yung values na na-obtain natin from the previous problem. So, here, I recommend na when you're writing the solution, be as organized as much as possible. So, sa scratch paper, i-fold natin yung paper natin and make columns. Tapos, um, for the solution, in-number natin yung solution natin to a specific problem para mas organize and mas madali natin ma-refer back in case nagagamitin natin yung previous solution natin. Ready to become an scholar ng bayan? Enroll in the UPCAT Masterclass today.